You're watching Good Morning Texas in High Definition with Brenda Teal, Gary Kogel, and Amy Vanderoff. For many things, he's a celebrity chef with his own show on the Food Network called Good Deal with Dave Lieberman, and he's also the author of two cookbooks and was named one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People, kind of like Larry. This morning, he's bringing us all that talent back into the GMT kitchen <laughs> where he's going to show us how to prepare some chic and simple tap a dish. Did you just say chic? Chic, yeah. <laughs> good simple. morning, Dave. Good, good morning. Thanks for, good. Uh, for having me. Yeah, we're excited that you're here today. So uh, you're kind of a big deal around here, Dave. Oh, come on. The Not food as big as you guys. The yeah. cookbooks. I mean, how come is life going? Come on, I'm standing next to Larry Brown. I, you know, I can't be that I mean, big of a deal. Uh, this is intimidating. Yeah, and, and I have to say your ring is intimidating. Well, you know what? I, <laughs> I'm going to make a deal here. You show me how to cook. The ring I, is yours. The ring wow. is yours. You gotta show me how to cook. You know what's I mean, you gotta have a strong arm just to, just <laughs> That's to keep this thing give on. You, like, you gotta show me how to cook. It's yours. You gotta show me how to and, cook though. And the crazy thing, Larry, is that like, people tell me that I have fat fingers, but mm -hmm. the, I mean I can't that thing is swimming. I mean, wear you, it you for have the huge hands. Can you wear that for the segment? Because I think yeah, that might be Yeah, I may not be able to cook. This may help you cook better. All right, okay. All right. So what are we doing today? What are we focusing on? Tapas are small little this is heavy. tapas are small little bites that are authentic to Spain. And they're, little, they're just like uh, a few ingredients, fresh ingredients, and they use authentic Spanish ingredients. They're great for summer entertaining. It starts usually with using Spanish olive oil. Okay. And we have lots of Spanish olive oil, so we can do whatever we want. And we're going to do some gazpacho right now, but I have a bunch of other little tapas. But I'm going to show you a really quick way to make gazpacho. Okay. All right? Um, all right, you can have this bad right. man. Is it making you nervous? I, really, I, I just can't work with it. It's too heavy. It's like a bite of tapas. It's, it's too, so big. It's too heavy. But why don't you help me throw some stuff sure. in here, Larry? All right. Um, so I got, um, it's just tomatoes. Tomato. It's just a bunch of fresh vegetables. Some bell peppers? But, yep, bell peppers. All right. uh, red peppers, cucumber, onion. And you throw it all in. This is a major turn on yes. right now. These two cute boys <laughs> cooking for me. I hey, am hey, just hey. Let's not go horseradish, right? Uh, no, this nope. is that, that's actually bread that you soak in bread? water. Um, oh. Because what happens is... I didn't think that was bread either. Yeah, it's bread that you soak in water, and then you squeeze out the water. What happens is that it thickens up the soup a little, gives it some body. And that's I like that's like a that. traditional... Well, I'm going to toss it in there. Dave, that's technique. your million-dollar tip for today. Well, I, and then, but the, what really brings it together is the Spanish olive oil. It gives it that authentic flair. This is, of course, extra virgin. You add plenty of it. And uh, Sp Spain, actually, is the world's number one producer of olive oil. It's not Italy. It's oh. not Greece. Yes, I wouldn't know and that. They make, and they make some of the world's best olive oil. And I always think oil. Italian with olive oil. But not all, all olive oils, that's hard to say, Larry, yes, uh, has not been created equal because this is really good for gazpacho. Could we leave yeah. anything? Oh, yeah, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're, you're on top here. of it. You're on top Ooh. of it. Now, what is this here? Garlic and a little bit of chili pepper just to give it a little you, bit of heat. You gotta have that garlic to yep. give it the kick. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's a, now with the Olympics, here's a, here's a visual for you. Spain makes so much olive oil, it would fill up 400 Olympic sized swimming pools. Wow. Whoa. That's how much they made. They wow. are the world's number That'd one. That'd make top for producer. a messy swim. <laughs> now, what about folks with the diet here? How's it affect? Is, is it this heavy is, in oh, calories? No, look, this is all vegetables. It's so. It's so light and we're going to serve it with a little bit of uh of shrimp and poke oh, shrimp all you do that. is you make and eat, larry even you can do this at home i promise even larry can even do you this. Can <laughs> like this. you sound like my kids huh? yeah a little bit of thyme lemon uh you bring it up to you bring it up to a simmer you throw mm -hmm. in the shrimp for two minutes and then you have perfectly cooked shrimp yeah. and this is and so you have um you, what I do is I just top the, the gazpacho with the shrimp and you just serve this as like a little two bite thing, you see? Oh, yeah. And you put you put a couple uh, couple shrimp on top. I love that you just stick your fingers in Yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. And then you garnish it, you see, with a little yeah, bit of nice pepper. And you just serve it. It's a perfect little party uh, dish along with these other things. These are little potato cakes. This is chorizo with piquillo peppers and manchego. Wow. This is fried caifo. Only three or four ingredients for each one. Um, they're using all authentic. The Spanish ingredients, particularly Spanish olive oil as the base, and that's basically all you need for a great tapas party. Maybe some sangria too, white wine sangria. Now, I was going to ask what that concoction was. That's a white wine sangria. White wine, brandy, fresh fruit, a little bit of sugar, yeah. and um, you squeeze the fresh orange juice in, uh -huh. into it. But we're going to be serving these and other some other nice tapas recipes tonight at uh, Hotel Zaza. Oh, wow. So if, uh, if anybody wants to come, they're more than welcome. We're giving away all, all kinds of nice things. and. Um, we're even giving away some door prizes, and it's uh, it's from six to eight at Hotel Zaza. And if you're interested, you just call the front desk, and they'll you know give you anything. And they'll give you that reservation, and they get to meet you, Dave. Yes. yes. One of People Magazine's awesome. 50 Most Beautiful yeah. People. Okay. When you were named that title, I mean, what did it you It was think? actually uh, most eligible. No, eligible bachelor. Oh, it wasn't a beautiful people. Uh, you know, no, we I'm not. Be, I'm just. I was. They, they thought I was eligible, but they took a terrible <laughs> photograph of me. It no. was like the worst photograph ever. And so all I like, I just my my friends just harassed me for. 
for months. Oh, and I, I didn't bet. get and I didn't get one date out of it. So. And you didn't get one date out of it. I didn't get one date out of it. A, a good looking guy that can cook. I, I huh? mean, come on. Put pressure that, on the single yeah. guys. Dallas out here. is like a breeding ground of good looking women. So, well, I mean, I'm you'll hoping have to no meet tonight. Tonight? tonight. All right. Now, if anybody wants these recipes, they can go on to uh, oliveoilsfromspain.com or to your website too. Okay. okay. I would think that tapas is a little bit labor intensive. Sometimes people shy away from this because even just looking at it looks intimidating, but you're saying not so. We can do this. No, it's only like three or four ingredients for each one. And when you look at the recipes online, you'll see they're totally simple. And you right, made well, it clear. I mean, say that an athlete can do it. Anybody. I can do know. It, right? yeah, that's an, right. An athlete and a blonde, a good combination. <laughs> Dave, thanks for being here. We'll see you Thank tonight you. at Zaza. Yeah, all right. And for a copy of today's recipe, log on to our website, WFAA.com slash GMT.